Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these, one of these Cracker Barrel Single Balls macaroni and cheese dinner. This is the sharp cheddar flavor. Um, these were $2.79 at Meyer, so um, not too awfully bad. The Cracker Barrels had these in the bigger bowls, um, like the packets on a single serve bowl, for a while. And I wanted to try them, but they were way too many calories so I, for the big thing. And I ended up wasting half of it, so I'm glad they finally came up with the singles for these. This is uh, seasoned with paprika and a touch of ground mustard topped with toasted breadcrumbs. So, ready in four and a half minutes. It looks pretty good. So, I'm going to, I just pulled the package open so I can get this bowl out. I'll get that out and I'll read the direction. I'll just show you the calories. Um, here you go. So, it's 370 calories for the bowl, which is, I don't think that's bad at all. Sodium's a little high, but, you know, whatever. I'm not dead yet. So, remove the lid and the three pouches from the bowl. Add contents of the entire seasoning blend to the pasta bowl. Um, add water to the fill on and stir. Make sure you stir it because it's very, very important. So, you put the seasoning in, you stir it. And then um, just add water to the fill on. Da -da -da. Uh, four and a half minutes or until the pasta is tender. Do not drain. Stir in your cheese sauce. And then sprinkle the breadcrumbs on the top, and that, that's it. So, again, here's the package. I think I can do this with one hand. Yeah. So it's really just, uh, it's all about the seasoning and the cheese. The pasta is all the same. So here's your cheese packet. Here is the um, topping, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, toasted breadcrumbs. And here is the seasoning. If you ever had a macaroni and cheese bowl from like Kraft or something, I lost the noodle. Um, they have a, a powder mix too that you put in there beforehand, or it's got powder in there that you mix in, and um, it's um, like a white, salty like stuff. So that's the same kind of thing, although this has a little bit of a seasoning to it too. So uh, I'm in the fill line, is down here in the bottom. So I'm going to dump the seasoning into here, put water in here, and stir it, and, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is with the seasoning packet stirred in. So it did have a little orange flavor, like an orange uh, cheese um, color. But um, so now I'm going to take this, put it in the microwave. I'm going to put a paper plate under it. Although these so far have been pretty good about not overflowing, so they've they've been pretty decent. But I'm still going to put a plate or a paper towel or something underneath it just in case. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and this is what it looks like. So I usually give it a good stir because it's usually kind of um, dry and sticky at this point. <laughs> It's dried out, but it's kind of stuck together. So now you take your cheese packet, which I did cut open. I've never seen a pull tab on, or a pull, a little tear area on this, so I always have to cut it. You work your way from the bottom to the top. Get all that stirred in. Okay, pretty good. And then the, the uh, breadcrumbs, you really just dump it on top. Try to sprinkle it as much as you can spread out, but it's not perfect. So there it is. So I'm gonna let this cool off for just a minute and I'll be back. Hey, it's had a little time to cool off. So I got some, a bite with breadcrumbs um, on it. So here we go. I like the flavor of the cheese. It's really good. I like the um, I like the crunch of the breadcrumb, although it doesn't add any overpowering flavor to it. It does add a little bit of a flavor to it. And I like that. That's good. I like the I like that sharp cheddar uh, flavor. That's that's um, quite tasty. The timing is cooked well. The ma the noodles are cooked well, so the timing is good. Um, it's not too firm, not too mushy, which is a good thing. It's right in the middle. The uh, the breadcrumbs are good. They're uh, good and crispy. They're a little fine. I wish they were a little um, chunkier and not so finely like like sand. They're more like they need to be more like uh, breadcrumbs, like you crumble them up, not ground up. But uh, but beyond that, it's really good. I like the flavors. I like the texture. Um, the seasonings in there are really good. It's kind of like 
It's kind of like a regular macaroni and cheese meal that's a sauce like a Velveeta or something like that. It's like that, but the breadcrumbs just add a little bit more texture to it. So, um, so it is really good. So I'm going to give this one a four. It's definitely worth trying out. Um, I don't think it's awfully expensive and the calories aren't bad and you get quite a bit of, of news. You may want to add um, some fruit or something at, at the end or some kind of something sweet at the end just to just kind of round it out. But, but that's about it. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.